Okay, so what I've discovered after I made that short video about whether or not I cut the right trace is that I did cut the wrong trace inadvertently. You see um, the representation in this graphic. One, two, three pins down from this component here. Follow that red trace up along here to that test point. I inadvertently interrupted that trace, I believe. Even though I really was shooting for right here. So what we're looking for is the uh, the trace that goes from this end of the surface mount capacitor to that test point where that purple line is. And I believe what I accomplished oh boy, where were we? When I When I first thought I got it now I'm lost, is I think what I might have inadvertently done, come on, is uh, you, you see where I'm talking about? I got both hands full right now, so I can't point. But I think I might have damaged that one trace. Hopefully I can find out for sure by putting an ohmmeter across that one test point and uh, perhaps that that pin that the trace terminates in on the uh, that microchip there so I'm gonna check real quick to make sure I haven't jacked something up if I have it shouldn't be that big of a deal to just run a jumper um, and and make sure you know just to make sure so there you go. But uh, with a with a ten power eye loop and the point of my exacto knife, uh, and a lot of collateral damage, I think I might have accomplished what I set out to do. It's almost impossible to photograph this or even visually verify it. And this is one of the first steps. So this is turning out to be, uh, I would say, a fairly difficult modification.